Hi, my name is John. I'm with my friend Dirk. We're Dirk. With Dirk. Yes, I said Dirk. We Dirk. are with Retro Arcade Gaming, and today we will be playing G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Terrorism, that's very relevant. Yes. Is but this a Konami game? It's Konami. Yes, so it's a good one, because whenever you hear Konami and arcade equals good. Quality. Quality. Not like our last episode, where... That was awful. Yeah, yeah, we had to s stomach that episode. Yes. As as I'm pretty sure many of you listeners had to stomach it, but trust us, trust us, it was harder, much harder on our end. <laughs> it was much harder on, it, so, on our end. Yeah. Have you ever played this game in the arcade? Uh, a couple of times. It was a very popular oh, game. you actually saw it in the arcade? I personally never saw this game in the yeah, arcade. I, my uncle's really into G.I. Joe, so oh. when he would babysit me and we'd go to the arcade, yeah. I saw this game a few times. I don't recall playing it exactly because it was really popular. Like, everybody was playing this game. Really? Yeah. I honestly never saw this game. Oh, you know what? Well, I think I, I saw it once, mm -hmm. but like I said, like you said, it was so popular that it was hard to get even near it. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna go through it one time and uh, ah. have some commentary on it. And um, yeah, good, great. Yeah, play through it. All right. So let's start. Uh, I'm I'm really digging the subliminal messages. Terrorism, oh. invasion, oh. bravery. I thought it was like I thought it was like buy our toys. <laughs> but oh, that too. Of course, is that. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be roadblock. Uh, I'm gonna pick Scarlet. Because I, you know, we used to watch the cartoon and I used to have a little crush on this Scarlet. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have a crush on Scarlet. <laughs> Scarlet girl. Yeah. All right. Did you see that movie? Did you see the movie G.I. Joe? Uh, with, um, what's his name? The Rock? No. Oh, yeah, that one. But I was thought about. I was thinking about the first one, with, you know. Oh, the very, very... You know, I didn't like it too much. Right. So, wait, when was it released? I'm trying... Oh, I don't know. I forget. Hmm... Right. Was it in like the early 2000s? I think the early 90s. No, no, no. I think it was like later 2000s. Maybe 2008, I think, maybe. I guess guess I get right. And Dwayne Johnson wasn't in it? No, no, no. That was the sequel. Oh. Oh, who was in the first one? You know, Damon Wayans. That guy, and, uh, that guy, um, yeah, Damon Wayans. And, and that guy who was in Jupiter Rising. What's his name? Uh, Ch oh, yeah. Chatham Chatham Tate. T Channing, Channing Tatum. Tatum, yeah, yeah Channing he was Tatum, in yeah. Okay, yeah no, 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 he was in the second one. Channing Tatum he was in the second, second one. one, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, he was in the first one too. I remember that. I think he. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, I think he died. Uh, yeah. yeah. Whatever. But they were both. They were both pretty bad, though. Yeah. Even though I'm a big fan of Rock, still, you know. Oh, well, so far, so let's. So as far as this, this game is obviously a, it's on rails. It's a rail shooter. Um, rail shooters are pretty big in arcades. Um, gives you that sense of 3D movement. Gives you that sense, uh, and you know, you just focus basically on shooting stuff. Yeah. You uh, know what it reminds me of the old. Uh, I don't know if it came out of the arcade, but I remember on a Nintendo Cabal. Boom. Which one? Cabal. You remember Cabal? Cabal. Cabal. Yeah. Cabal. It was Sounds just you went back and forth and everything. Oh shit! Did I die? I, yes, I think I'm dying died. a lot. I gotta use my missiles, because I don't think, like, uh... We make stuff go boom. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think of the game so far? I, I think it's, it's cool. It's looking. very cool. Uh, it, it's action-packed. Um, it's a little hard to keep track of your reticule, though. Like Sometimes my reticule ends up on the side of the screen that I'm not on. <laughs> but, um... Ooh. Direct hit! Yeah. Oh. So much for being a roadblock. They just ran right through me like I was nothing. You know what? Well, it's different from this than in the cartoon that you actually see people die. In the, in the oh, yeah. People never died in the cartoon. <laughs> yeah, you don't even see people get shot. Yeah. Tama. Now or never. Oh, I thought I was going to. I thought we were going to fight those. Oh, fuck. Whew. Burn this good. Wow. No more commentary. Uh, I, I gotta concentrate right now. So this, uh, yeah, got, could, got a little personal. Oh. Gotta use my missiles. Oh, that was easy. Just that was missiles. very easy. Let's use the missiles. <laughs> All right. All right, I got it. I got it. All right. Sorry, guys. Good luck next time. 
And that's great. So it's like a continuation. So you, it's not like it's a new stage. It's just we're getting closer and closer to yeah. our goal in the background. So exactly. it's like a, it's a seamless transition. It's really cool. It's cool. Yeah. Really nifty. And unlike, obviously, this is going from small to large, but it's not, it's, there was a game we just finished playing where that, it had that effect, but it felt very gimmicky. What are you talking about? You talking about Arabian fight? Yeah, here it feels... A little bit more natural? Yeah, something? it feels a lot more natural. Like, sometimes yeah. it felt like the characters were like, how should we say, um, it, they were like oversized in the foreground and undersized in the background. You know what? I, I do respect experimentation. Uh, it was definitely experimentation. Oh, no. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, take out these purple guys. You're gonna suffer just for wearing purple. Where's purple? <laughs> Magenta, actually. <laughs> Do you ever like collect GI Joe when you're a kid? You know, here's the funny story. My parent, my dad tried to get me into GI Joe, because my, oh, like I said, my uncle was into it, but yeah. I, I just, ne it never caught on. Really? It never caught on. I mean, I, I watched the cartoon occasionally, but. Like the action figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was just not my thing. Oh, man. So I don't know. I, think, you know what? I, I went through this weird phase where I was not like into like real things. Like I oh, oh <laughs> I know. I know that phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so, G.I. Yeah. Joe was a little bit too real. Oh, uh, so G.I. Joe caught you on that phase. But yeah. So you never saw a cartoon movie? Like, uh... Mm, nah, I think I skipped that. Oh, man. It was like, uh... What about Transformers? The oh. Transformers movie. The, tr the the cartoon Transformers? Yeah, you know, where Optimus Prime dies. Dies, spoiler. yeah, yeah. <laughs> spoiler. I mean, yeah, uh, spoiler. <laughs> obviously, it's a spoiler now. We didn't give you a heads up. Yeah, he does die, so... I mean, the so, ca so 80s cartoon movie. Sorry, sorry for killing it for y'all. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so. Oh, no, it was gut-wrenching. Oh, yeah, it was man. Gut I you, saw that in the theater, and all the kids oh, you were saw like, it in quiet. Theaters. And they wow. were like, uh, yeah. I mean, including myself, man. When you see your, when you see the main character die of like oh, your yeah, favorite you, cartoon you, you, series, you, that's fucking traumatizing. I don't give a fuck, man. I don't give. A... I try Duke. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think the cartoons, that cartoon alone, pulled off more than how the, I guess the, recent rebooted series. It's just, it feels so very, over the top. What's rebooted? You know, the Michael Bay series. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, like, you know. Like, it's just... I mean, I think it was... F when it was new, it was fresh, it was cool. <laughs> you seen Transformers, I was like, oh, cool, but... After a while, it just became, like, you know, kind of repetitive. Oh, shit. Yes, I will try not to get you mad. A lot. Oh, I guess I got you pr plenty mad. <laughs> But I do like this game because it does feel somewhat of like the cartoon. It's got mm -hmm. all the characters from it and oh, yeah. the, you know, all the symbols from it and it was just uh, I think the funny thing about Konami, they were excellent with replicating popular franchises, especially toy franchises. Like they really did an awesome job with that of with course, the Turtles yes. franchise. And you just see their attention to detail and how they incorporate those little touches that you if you, especially if you were a toy, if you collected the toys growing up, you would just like recognize those touches. So yeah, yeah, I have to agree with you. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. It's yeah. it's those small. Oh, they totally missled me. Yeah, I saw I saw that missile right to right <laughs> you. Yeah, so I just get the same feeling with this uh, with this game. It's like oh, like all the car all the guys from the cartoons are here and everything. It's just like. All the vehicles, you know, just really good, really good, really fun. Oh, no, it's it's very authentic. It's yeah. very faithful to the original. It's true. Yo, Joe. Yo, Joe. Cobra's weapons plant. I guess we're in the base now. I mean, look at the fact that they even use distinct ridicules for each character, so it's, it's, it's small little touches yeah. that make you appreciate their their dedication to the game. Yeah. And remember, this is, I mean, Konami is obviously not a domestic company, 
So it shows that they put in the time to really like research the franchise to, you know, replicate the experience. And it's cool that it's not a side-scrolling beat 'em up because you know yeah. GI Joe is just full of shooting. Oh, they could have done that. Like they could have went the Contra route. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. They could have went the Contra route, but this was this way far more interesting. Yeah. You know? And it's very, you know what it is? It's kind of very unique and distinct. Yeah. It's almost, it feels like this is the G.I. Joe experience. Yes. So, heads up to, um, ooh, yeah, that sucks to be them. So, <laughs> tip of the hat to Konami for crafting a very... Yeah. Take that, yeah. I'm just sad. I, I just never liked, never really played it in the arcade, you know. Or I've never seen it. Like, you know, when you go to pizza shops or something like that. Or, or, yeah, I just never never ran into it. Or something like that. Yeah. No, it's... I just remember it being at a larger arcade. I'm pretty sure maybe there were smaller arcades like pizza shops or... I mean, outside from pizza shops, what were other stores that usually carried ca arcade cabinets? Uh, other than those stupid poker games. Uh, <laughs> I know, like <laughs> fucking poker games. Like, you know, um, arcade, uh, laundromats, pool pool halls. Yeah, laundromats, that's true. Pools, you know, they used to true, have they used bowling alleys. They used to have arcades. Yeah. City Island, I don't know, like, nobody may be listening from New York, but, you know, at City Island, they used to have, like, arcade games at the end of the, with the restaurants at the end. Baroness. Is that Baroness? Oh, man. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh. I'm surprised I didn't get any slowdown from that. Ah! Snake eyes. Oh man. I gotta use up my missiles before I die. Oh look at that. I've never seen Sky with Shadow on the Sky before. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Konami. Okay. Uh, uh, Konami. To detail. Ah, yeah. fucked up. Uh, it's okay, Konami. We'll give. We'll let. <laughs> let it pass. Let's it's slide. still a cool game. <laughs> its shadow is so imposing; it does not even follow the basic tenets <laughs> of physics. Yes. Because mm. the Baroness says so. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. Die, died. No, 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 no. Oh, that was out, out of quarters. Come on. A lot of enemies on screen. Oh, oh yeah. She's done. Take that, Baroness. Oh. Uh, I guess not yet. I I like pixelation when it when it's done like when mm -hmm. it's used with scaling and everything like that. I think it's kind of cool. I mean, yeah. it's I guess I'm feeling a little nostalgic because I don't see that anymore anything like that. But because when you see it done like this, is actually really nifty because you know it can only be done. With, oh, there she goes. Yeah. When it's done, you actually you can appreciate it because. Yeah. Yo, Joe. That was just mission one. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, how many? Wow, that wow, yeah. That was a lot for one mission. That, that was. Well, that makes sense because we were going towards the base. Maybe there's only like I don't know how many missions there are. Like mm. three, four. Yeah. It was so seamless. I was see that's good when you get your 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 quarters worth. Yeah. That's really good. Most, I think most developers would have ended the game right there. <laughs> <I know. laughs> they would be like, thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it. Mm -mm. I don't know how this game would look remade. Like remastered. And I don't think you can remake it because it'll. Yeah. That's still. There'll just be something missing or something you like think that. So? Yeah, because you know, I think like nowadays, like 
uh, uh, video game developers are just sort of caught up with making things look not cartoony like the cartoon which you know G.I. Joe is cartoon right but mm. they, they're just so interested in making things realistic looking yeah. you know rather than cell shaded looking or something like that and when they do make something cell shaded looking it's just so stiff that's what I'm saying I don't think you could uh, I think you could try but something will be missing I think you know in my opinion I don't know what do you think you disagree with that I'm just wondering how it would look with like a new coat of paint like actual like you know rendering shadows all that good stuff I mean not saying it doesn't have that but but I guess it would it would come across as looking more realistic yeah you know like like for example I cannot stand when they remade Metal Gear when it came out for the PlayStation mm -hmm. now there's something there was something to that like the, the, the way it was done the way it was handled all the pixelation and you know because I remember like one 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 thing I remember distinctly about the whole like Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation the first one is like you never could see the characters eyes right, any right. of the characters and I, I think that that was that was a statement in itself you know I felt like but you know when they remade it for the Super I mean what do you call that the game 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 uh you know, when Nintendo... Oh, GameCube? Them. GameCube, the, yeah. The and Twin it, Snakes. Yeah, yeah, Twin Snakes, which was awful, and it, it just added a level of cheesiness to it, and, yeah. it, it, you know, it just became silly, I thought. Major blood. <laughs> what, they should, what they should overhaul is that, uh, bad games. <laughs> like, nobody cared about. It. Like that 64th Street <laughs> thing. <laughs> Jade, you and your green eyes. Oof, wow. Let's start abusing those missiles, man. Oh, so much for that base. Oh, there's something underneath it. It's the Technodrome. <laughs> nope, it's it does sound like Technodrome. You look like. It's Cobra HQ. Actually, it's a, f a huge oh, fucking shit. gun. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that coming. Oh, shit, I, I died. I didn't even know. I didn't know I'm gonna use my, all my missiles for this guy. Oh, bastard. Yo, Joe! Yeah, yeah, yo, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever say that when you were a kid? Uh, once or twice. <laughs> oh, what? There's more. I mean, I know there's more, but so we're we're heading underground. Yeah, we're heading underground. Wow, that's nifty. Oh, he just like pimp slapped me. Oh man. Like ha. They should make a. I, I mean, it's too late now, but I wish they made a Metal Gear uh, game like this, like a arcade Metal Gear arcade game. Mm, you mean like in this format? Yeah, I mean like you know because Metal Gear is uh, very story driven, so you isn't, you can't see it in that kind of format. But mm -hmm. but you know, just one, just like it's just a just a uh, arcade shooter. It just you know the last the last guy would be um, the Metal Gear. Right. That would be interesting. Yeah, I thought I think so. It's so dark. Right. Oh, there's everybody. Yeah, everybody can go home. This is a pretty extensive operation. I think this guy is really, really serious about taking over the world. Yeah. Oof. Uh, that didn't last long as her. I'm getting mixed reviews on that Blade Runner movie that you mentioned or something like that. I hear that, uh... I hear that movie got some death. You heard that movie got some what? Death. Yeah, you know what? I mean, like, people say it's slow, but... It's, it's a go, you know, a go-see, though. 
I think it's definitely one of those movies that will grown people. Uh. It may not, you know, it's not what people were expecting it, what they thought it might be. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's slow. I mean, that's what the the, the I hear the consensus on, but. But it really, it's deliberate and very, very, very methodical. Yeah, but, yeah, but I hear like there's a there's you know there's a reason you know there's a it's like a they saying I like hear I hear a lot of saying a lot of people saying that it's as good as the first one because you know. Well, I feel like. That's where I have to disagree. I feel like the first one was more character driven. Yeah. Because there were what you might call second. The story, in other words, the, the story wasn't just about Deckard. It was also about the androids who were trying to escape oh, yeah, yeah, detection. Yeah. And I feel like this one is more. It's more focused on the net, on the. It's more driven by this one character as opposed to many characters. Oh, I see. So, even though Decker does show up in the later part of the movie, it doesn't... St he just feels like a tertiary character. Like, he o the only reason he's there is because of a very important plot point that needs to... that needs him in order f to work. So, otherwise, I mean... It's kind of like when they were di when they were scripting the film. If they decided to go a different ro a different way, they wouldn't have even needed Deckard. And sometimes I wonder if that would have actually been, a, you know, more ch more intriguing. Hmm. I don't know. Now I gotta check it out. It may it may be curious. It's like maybe I should, I no, should watch I, this I, movie I, or something. I think it's worth watching. It's definitely worth watching. It's and then I, I, I you know there's an anime out from it for it. And the guy who worked on the anime is the same guy who did Cowboy Bebop and Samurai yes. Champloo? Yes. You know what? I, just, I watched it. Did you? Yeah. And. Was it good? I'm, it made me wish that they actually had a TV series. Oh, wow. So it's only a two hour movie then? It's not even. Uh, it's 15 minutes. It's 15 minutes? It's 15 oh, minutes. I thought it was like a whole like series. Just or yep, just oh. 15 minutes. Oh, so I gotta check it out then. They do a lot in that 15 minutes, that's all I'll say. Oh, okay. Where'd you see it on Crunchyroll? Uh, it was showing on Crunchyroll, but now it's on YouTube. Oh, okay. Oh, these guys. Uh, okay, I'll say one thing about this game: keeping yeah. up with everything that's happening and targeting your ridicule in it is not easy. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the guys who's. You know, I'm shooting at the guys, but you also have to keep. You know, I'm also trying to keep an eye on my character. You have to yeah. sway back and forth and. Yeah. It, Definitely a lot of multitasking happening here. <laughs> and you got those cheap shots. Oh man. Got any more missiles left? Uh, there we go. Okay. <sighs> oh, there's more. Oh. Of course there's more. Oh, I'm out of missiles, fuck. He hit under the freaking. You coward! You hid under the sand. Oh shit! Oh, snake eyes. Oh, is that? Is that? I was I, I was looking at my character so much I didn't see the character. Is it Destro? Destro, where? No, on top of the, uh, was, I see no. he wasn't even looking at the guy. Yeah, it was Destro. Oh, yeah. oh that's cool. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Away goes the airship. That looks like full motion video, actually. Yeah, it does. That's interesting. Who really is Cobra? You ever reveal his true identity? What? Cobra. The game's not over yet. No, I'm saying, did they ever reveal his identity in the Cobra series? Commander? Yeah. Oh, no. Nope, he's just the nameless, faceless yeah, antagonist. Yeah, one of those guys, you know. He's not Scarlet's... Nah. <laughs> he's not Scarlet's That'll be disgruntled pretty bad. brother. <laughs> <laughs> Tragic. There's a... 
He's a he's a rejected GI Joe. I know. That, <laughs> started that would be an interesting twist. Who started okay. his own terrorist organization <laughs> like, because he didn't make the cut? I know, right? Imagine that. Imagine <laughs> that would be pretty <laughs> funny. Gruntled, like a rejected soldier. <laughs> you can't be. You're not Joe. <laughs> no, Joe. <laughs> he didn't have he didn't go, Joe. boot camp. <laughs> 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 it's like no. I'll show you, GI Joe. I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, that could be his whole chagrin. Yeah, that would be like a nice story or something. I was just as good as them all, but I got no Joe instead of yo Joe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's he getting? Where's he getting? Because this look, you know, it's funny. I always think about like when you see these evil. Um, geniuses or, or diabolical schemesters. It's like, where are they getting all the money to pay for this? I know, right? Who's funding this? Yeah, who's funding this terrorist know. organization? Kind of, did they open up a mutual fund? And Something. <laughs> like, Come on, how much? <laughs> like, all this artillery? Uh, okay. Jets? Jets? Yes, you know, uh, submarines and all this good stuff. It's a good question. It's who's, a very good question. Who funds Cobra? <laughs> You're not telling me Cobra's just paying for this all on his own. Iraq? <laughs> some place. Yeah, some oil rich country. That should be like a good backstory. <laughs> so you are full of good ideas. <laughs> like, who goes beyond the funding of G uh, Cobra? Oh, yeah. You know they're pulling out the stops because that's just one hit kills. You can't get past this door. Oh. Where's your leader? Oh, here we go. Cobra Commander. Yeah. Told you. Spot you pissed. Muscles. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bam. Like, Brother, you must stop this madness. <laughs> oh, no, it's, why? It's why? okay. Why? Why, Bob? You may not why? be a G.I. Joe, but you're still my Joe. My Joe, my brother. You can still turn around. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a G.I. Joe, too. <laughs> oh, what is my latest technological advancements? Oh, fuck, I got, I got shocked by whatever that is. I don't know, I think he's being funded by Apple. Where'd you get that kind of technology? Imagine that, imagine that, it was a... Or Musk. Cobra, Cobra is funded up by a star, funded by a startup. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Just a bunch of nihilists at heart. <laughs> oh, I was a robot. Oh, what the oh, oh, can't even face us. Oh, it was a, it was a decoy. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, 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 all right. <laughs> that was a quarter muncher right there. Quarter yeah, muncher. was a quarter boy. muncher. You made me fight your double. Just for that, I'm kicking your butt. Oh. Stay still. Ah! Oh. This is why you can't be G.I. Joe. Because you have no honor. No. Honor? Who needs honor <laughs> when you have all this artillery and missiles <laughs> and projectile look weapons? Look, look. To hell with honor. Yo, all those grenades. I just grenades. like watching things go boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And this was the thing. You knew I was the best, but because I like to watch things explode, <laughs> you said no, Joe. <laughs> no. Use your <laughs> missiles. Oh, I got missiles, right. <laughs> oh, I guess that's it. Sorry, brother. I just could not bear to let you do this to yourself. <laughs> You're really getting behind this mythos you built around uh, <laughs> Cobra <laughs> Commando. <laughs> Oh, this is the ending, right? This was a short game. This was pretty short. <laughs> I think this is like 20 minutes long. Wow. Well, I don't know. Oh, Gia Gia Joe. Joe. oh staff. <laughs>
All right. Thank uh. you. Good good job. Good job, June. Good job, Yamada, with graphic design. Very Sakura, good. 28. Oh, I hardware. guess 25 and 26 to make the cut. Nishimura, <laughs> product design. Very good. Very good. Oh, that's all? Like, like what was that? Like That was like 10 people. 10 people made that game? Yep. Oh, shit. 10 people threw that 10 together. 10 people? That's all you needed back in the day. Just wow. 10 people and a lot of heart. I know. It's not like nowadays. It's like a whole army of people. What? The end? The game is not over yet? Nope. Yes, it is. It just ended. Uh, what? Got, oh, I think because we got quarters or something like that. We got plays again? What wow. is this, like, New Game Plus? I think I think because we had quarters left over. Uh, you know, the game we... That we I mean... We, we it, start. It reset. The game is not over yet because you put in too many quarters. Yes. Yo, Joe. Yo, All right. Joe. Great. Great game. Great game. That yeah, was pretty interesting. Yeah. So, I, let me pause this. Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you get this? I would give this a 9. It was a good arcade 9. game. 9.5 because well, for a rail shooter, it was pretty innovative. Most rail shooters can be repetitive uh, drain especially on your thumbs and I can imagine using a joystick it could just really start giving you arthritis yeah yeah but I think the fact the allure of if you were having those problems I didn't have them but maybe somebody might have them the characters the the, the very authentic and faithful tie in to the um, toys the, the toy series yeah yeah, yeah. the products it's I think the cartoon it's, series itself the cartoon series itself especially I think it's it's fun. Like, it's fun. I, as, I'm as i not a G.I. Joe enthusiast, but I can imagine a G.I. Joe enthusiast like my uncle just, like, going total fanboy yeah, yeah. over this. And probably... Oh, he would have a heart attack. Oh, yeah. He would definitely lose his mind. Just totally. <laughs> I, I mean, it's... It, the characters... I mean, all the characters... I don't know in terms of whether or not they play differently, but as far as the presentation, I think it's... Like, they really paid attention to the series. Yes. Like, it wasn't just like... Even when it was 10 people, it was 10 people who really took their, their charge time. seriously. Like, okay, we're going to make a G.I. Joe game that G.I. Joe fans are going to love. Yeah. So. Yeah, just like my only regret, like, not playing in the arcade and having that full arcade experience, that whole cabinet experience of, right. like, just being there right. and just shooting up and joining maybe, I don't know, two or four guys and everything like that. Mm. I think that's what's missing nowadays, too, because everybody's doing it online through headsets that... Right. There's, there's this camaraderie that like you're right next to the person playing alongside that person that yeah. is just not there anymore you just don't have that yeah. you know yeah and it was a short yeah. session I mean it's not yeah. like it's not yeah. like in most games today where you have to build like raids like in Destiny and you're like basically it's like you meet somebody at the arcade you're playing alongside them you have a fun time you go yeah. about your business you yeah know? it's not like you have to basically become their best friend I mean hey if it goes Much to that too. that's awesome but it was just like it was a great medium and form for just sharing your joy for in this case a franchise with other people yeah, yeah. totally a community yeah you ever had that one bully that tries to steal your quarter you ever bully in your neighborhood <laughs> I had bullies in my neighborhood uh, <laughs> did I yeah. no, no I was pretty big for my age so nobody, oh you're pretty big got no, away with it nobody yeah. tried oh, no I didn't man. get away with it nobody tried to steal my quarters yeah oh man yeah. I guess you were yeah. scrawny. You, no, you, you were scrawny back then. No, it never happened to me. <laughs> it never happened to me. Not once. Not once. They tried. Uh, no. Like a, yeah, yeah. They tried. They tried. Yeah, but uh, I never had that problem. I just surely. I just, I just had a friend of a friend. A friend of a friend of a friend with, <laughs> who happened to have that problem. <laughs> happened to have that problem. Especially when they were trying to play GI Joe. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never had that problem. Yeah. Never had that problem. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining us. This was GI Joe. It was a good game great game uh high uh, marks definitely high marks. recommend it if you're good into, trip down nostalgia yeah. memory lane yes pretty fun if you're into the whole arcade retro experience then you got to give this one a shot all right thank you for joining us and leave luck to heaven <laughs>